so this this is the here's the stress building up again. So we know full well. Um, you've seen it, Ash has seen it, I think Chris has seen it, Alex has seen it. When we were cutting around it, I was cutting through bone, but couldn't help it. Because they were bones were going on. So we know pretty well that the rest of the skeleton is there. In point of fact, already in the last two years since we got this out, there was a we think it's a coracoid, it definitely was a coracoid, it was poking out. And over the intervening months since the winter, this has dropped out onto the beach and we've lost it, so already we're losing it. So we've got a crowdfunding appeal in to raise this money, but you're talking, you know, to excavate 20 metres of cliff off and you uh, and do it in that way, and you're under the Quarry Act then, and goodness knows what, it's going to be very costly. So putting your finger in the air like that, well, tell me how much it's going to be. Well, I reckon it could be ending up to half a million pounds. I really do. And I think how much have we got at the moment? 30 grand, 25 grand, 25,000. It's not really tick the box for people. When the film came out, we should have had that appeal going out a lot earlier, I'll be honest with you. And when people really got excited by it, then perhaps they would have dipped their hands in their pockets a bit more quicker. We've lost that impetus on that. We, we're looking to places like in America that may come on board and there might be an individual sponsor here. But as you know full well, We've got some very rich people in Britain, but they're only rich for one reason. They don't give money away. And this is a sort of, in the order of importance of what's going on in Britain today, it ranks down pretty low because it doesn't affect people's lives in any way. But scientifically, it's really important. If we lose this to erosion, then in years to come, if the human race is still on there, we'll be condemned for not getting our finger out and doing it when we're talking about a pittance really in the great scheme of things in money so that's that so we're not doing very well with that but we hope in the couple of months that things might change so cut long story short we've the landowner is fine about it he's happy to do whatever which is really really good because that's the big you know stumbling block if the landowner didn't want to do it we wouldn't have a chance of doing it so of course we would approach government bodies like english nature they come down, we've notified them, they come down, they've looked at the site, there's two of them were down, one on the sort of the mouldy stuff on the top, who covers all the sort of living invertebrates and vertebrates and goodness knows what. To, and the other guy who's more interested in the paleontological side of it and goodness knows what. They, they're both in agreement that we could do it, but it's subject to their conditions and their, their rules, which are quite onerous. I think we've got the paper here, I think it's quite a few pages thick. No, it's not all relevant to what we need to do, but we've got to adhere to all the rules that are there. So that's, we've got to do that. I've got, at the end of the week, I've got to go and take this over to someone else to work out what we need to do to conform to their, their uh, arrangements for how we submit the plan. But that's going to be quite an onerous thing to do. So we'll do that and whether we get the permit, so we might get the permission, but we might not get the money. So it's a bit of a cleft stick situation. So it's really up to us all and our trustees to get out there and motivate people and get them on board by exciting them, getting them involved. This is the trouble. It's, you can't go with any sort of fundraiser or person who's going to give you money cold-blooded and say, can you give us £50,000 or £100,000? They don't understand. You've really got to, them, you've got to get them really highly involved and motivated and excited about it. So there's only normally one person who does that, and that's me. Because I don't think, and I'm not being big-headed about it, I don't think anyone's got that passion that I've got to get this thing out. That's all we've got for you today from the Etches Collection. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more, and hopefully we'll see you next time.